else to worry about and um, yes second pack there is a shift embrace which is a really good finisher even though it's an enchantment it makes for you suit up and you win that turn or the next um, apart from that there is a symbiosis and perhaps a, no yeah so, you know, symbiosis and maybe a wound form but Shift's Embrace is good enough for me to take. And um, this pack though has got certainly a decent black card here, which poses some bits. Which is that is not to be underestimated. Uh, there is also a Hermetic Study. I think that will be my pick. It's a bit more versatile. Um, it isn't as color committing, and also if I can pick up a horseshoe crab, it's the nuts. What you should know about Ursa draft, drafting, if you didn't know it yet, is that enchantments have a heavy role. So this monk realist will could be uh, a problem, but hermetic study will be my pick. Seeing it as foil, make it uh, a bit more, it's, it's all, all more shiny. And um, this pack has got what's this? Remembrance. Let's get a bigger look at that. Uh, we search for another one with the same name. Uh, I'm not going to say that. I'm looking at Shower of Sparks. Kills off any one one. Um, if not for that, if I had any black cards yet, I'd pick, uh, before this I'd pick like despondency or maybe second team because both of those are good. But I think that shower of sparks is good enough to stay on to red and not choose a definitive color, and we get. Payoff. Horseshoe Crab. This is a combo. Hermetic Study. Uh, tap to deal 1 damage. Horseshoe Crab. 1 blue. Untap Horseshoe Crab. This is, this, is, this is a machine gun. Pay 1 blue. Deal 1 damage. If not for the Crab, then there would have been another Shower of Sparks. Uh, the Ashina Weaponsmith. Um, that's basically it. Resend is playable. But now I've got the combo set up. So, what to pick here? Had I been in any way green, I would have had both Fertile Ground and Green of Mistures. I don't know. Uh, to what extent one can play uh, three colors really, uh, especially enough if you if you aren't green to begin with. And as this, we have blue and red as our main colors. So I'm, I'd much rather take this and all. I like this card. It, it like uh, in some drafting sets, it's uh, more ridiculous than others. Uh, back in Mirrodin, I'd pick these very highly. And now you have Steel Sabotage, which has the same uh, position, basically. Um, this pack, as you can see, we aren't getting any 
red and the blue isn't that exciting, so we'll have to branch out into another color. And then there is that that will be green. Um, cave tiger, trees of titania, or trees of ranger. And I think that the trees of ranger is the better card. Um, as I'm not doing a sort of uh, ramp deck, haven't taken up any expensive guys, so I'm just going to take this evasive feature instead. Um, and what we have here, there's a lull, but the lyrist will most likely be the be better pick for us. Face the gigs, it's a fun card, but you can't really deduce it here. So there is, and it seems like we're getting cut off of both blue and red, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm going to take this one power stone as a way of ramping if we are to go in that route. On land, that one power stone is. Uh, this is. Well, as you, it, it is the equivalent of a Palladium here, apart from it not being able to attack. So yeah, one power stone. Um, here there is Spelunkers, or Goblin Raider, but I think that Spelunkers is a pick. Uh, I want to have the ability to block, and this is the upside of being a landwalker from time to time. Uh, not doing that, I'm not worried about that. Uh, I don't care about that really. But I'm still going to take it because it's the only, it's the only on color card. Just giving a bit of a it's sending a bit of a um, signal hitting gorilla this might be a good card um, it's a 5-3 uh, not going that anyways I like it's versatile you have the, the uh, Choice of destroying a land or an artifact, and the artifact might as well be a creature. So they waste. At the moment, this is really branching out into many different archetypes, which isn't where you want to be. Hopefully, we can get. Some sort of consensus in this pack, and we have a bunch of likely cards. We aren't black, unfortunately, because this is a great card. So is this, and so is that. Uh, blue cards, though, we have an archivist, which is fine. We have a green hoser. Another green hoser, both of these are kind of green hoser, but the giant crab is, the king crab is the better hoser. But then there's the fawn wind fairies and the weather seed fairies. And I think that I'm going to take this fawn wind fairies. Fingers are generally better than anything else, basically. There is also a Yevamaya Granger, which I wouldn't mind. Um, if it comes round, which is which is quite likely, uh, three black players and then a couple of blue players, and we have it back to us. And here there's the Gita thing, that's the pick for us. We aren't red green enough to to get the acolytes, but we are red, and for red the Gita thing is great. There's also a wreck and ruin, but not there. I'm trying to figure out how many artifacts there are that I want to destroy, and it has to have two targets. So I'm picking up on this Gita Slinger instead, and hopefully we might get something like the Jevamaya Vermback, send four of them off the 
Polished stone would be nice. Another Giga Slinger. Uh, thank you. That's a good one. Uh, let's see here. A uh, Rocking 2 Fly Flyer. That's a good one. Uh, another Verm. Acolyte. Mystic True Fall. Two of Mystic Fall. Yeah, Giga Slinger. And another good card for us, a Parch. It's, it's not a dead card. Um, Pygmy py py Pyrosaur is a good one as well. Pygmy Pyrosaur. Uh, man, foils in each and every pack here. Unfortunately, not something that I'd, I'd be willing to play. This one is good as well, though. Um, picking Mode. I'm a bit surprised that it's still here. Though there might have been some other good cards in the pack. Mm, so yeah, Parch. That's a big. What do we have here? There's a Simon Runt. Basically, an instant removal. There is a Goblin Medix. Uh, there's a Yashina Heretic. I'm leaning towards this Heretic or the Simeon Grunt. And since Grunt is the more aggressive card, and I think we're leaning more towards a red green deck now than anything else. I'm going to take the runs and we get another parch. We don't have any very many creatures, but we do have creature removal. Shower spots, parch, parch, deep sling, deep slinger, lay waste, sort of, heat ray. That's a respectable amount of uh, re removal. Crawl space. Uh, not too exciting. This one is good, but we are not white. Um, so it's granite grip or goblin medic. I even going to take this because goblin medics together with our magic study could be fun. We don't, still don't know if we play blue or red, green as our second color. Defender of Chaos is decent. Um, there is a Granger, but I hope, I really hope that I will be getting back our uh, first Granger if we, if, we want, if, we, if we were to want one. Because I think that the Defender is a bit better. Uh, in the deck that we're building so far. And, well, King Crab did a whole round on us. Um, yeah, King Crab just made it, made it so that we are playing blue red. Well, almost definitely blue red. Well, I just want to say definitely maybe. Um, Lyrist. The, the card that I will be missing is to see go the most is the King and Grunts, but I think I can survive. Um, no, I'm not worried about that, so. I might as well pick up on the Lab Access. Might. I actually might. Shoot somebody to the face. I got 10 points of damage, 14, 18, 19 points of damage that I can shoot to the face. It isn't the best of uh, the best of alternatives. I'd much rather keep control of the board. And win it with something lowly as Lolan Medic, then risk everything on being able to 
shoot somebody, you know. Uh, Pyrosaur came back to us. I will play that. It's there are some first strikers against which it isn't as exciting, but for the most case it will be a lowly one one that trades with anything that blocks it. So to me this will be like another removal spell. Let's see here. All damage that will be dealt to enchanted creatures does its control instead. I don't care about that. I'm going to take this granite grip. I might be able to do something interesting with it. Having it on a Spelunkus against uh, another red deck and have if he's tapped out then uh, it will be an enchantment to win with. So yeah, we we aren't totally sold on being blue, even though I said that after the King Crab, but our green isn't that exciting. And the blue is has got a bit better of a has a has a bit better of a uh, theme to it with these two pinging effects. The horseshoe crab that has a great pinging effect with the Hermetic Study and the King Crab that bounces one thing each turn if we are lucky. Or if the opponent is unlucky. Um so what do we have here? Um not good. Seal it Sigil of Sleep is a good card. At, at at times, uh, I mean, if you have it on a pinger, it's ridiculous. But it it this setup sets up for a more vulnerable two for one um, hermetic study, which is goes only onto the horseshoe trap basically. Uh, Golden Gardener is decent, but not more, not not nothing more than that. The Vandal is okay. Um, it's an aggressive card, but there's also this guy, the Sindasir, which, since you only reveal, you can get to do it each and every turn. So I'm going to take that. There's also Fourth Prophet, which is stupid, which can be stupid. This pack has got a Kingfisher, a Hulking Ogre. If we are going to go aggressive, we might as well pick the gap on this Hulking Ogre and just... Oh, wait. Uh, uh, there's a Yogmos Bargain here. I'm going to check if that's worth So the Bargain is actually worth 3 ticks. I'm going to take that because it's not sure, certain that this will make the deck near these two. So I'm just going to pick up on these ticks. And in this pack we've got a negator, which is also worth a little bit. But I'm going to go for it's it's one of two cards. It's Wild Colos or Metaphran Elite. Um Metaphran Elite isn't as exciting. So I'll just go for the the Colos, which will make the deck most likely. And we've got a certain something going on here. Uh, if I, I'm most likely going to cut green. Um, <laughs> there is an Irish Piper here, but I'm not abusing that in any way. So. I'm going to stick to the stupidly good red cards, and we're going to hide green altogether. So yeah, uh, let's see what we've got. Cost sorting this. 
we've got one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, kind of eight, nine removal spells, two spells damaging to the head. I can't say that our uh, creatures are the most exciting, but they might just as well be what we need. Mental discipline. Discard a card to draw a card. Yeah, that's quite good. Um, I would have to spice. Fun. A resident Drake, a uh, 2 to flying for 4, with the ability to return. Mathic study in Shiv's Embrace to play. That might be the pick. There's also a flame jet, but it whereas it has, does have cycling, but it doesn't do enough damage. So I'm going to pick up on this Drake. And another Scent of Cinders. Yes, please. We have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have 17 red cards. If we get, we might get a start where we have Central Cinder, two Central Cinders, two lands, and uh, five, and four other, no, three, let's see, three other red cards, which means that the first one will deal six, five or six damage, the second one will deal six or seven damage, and then the, the the rest of the cards will most likely be enough to kill my opponent. Um, Fallen Mason is the most aggressive card in the pack, so I'm going to pick that up. Tele Telepathic Spice isn't too much of a worry, nothing of this makes me worry. So we really we really have something Yeah, I I I'm, I'm quite excited as to what we might end up doing with this deck. This one is annoying, but we'll have to deal with it somehow. I'm going to pick this Hulking Ogre. Just going very aggressive. And I'm actually looking to picking up enough red cards here to just cutting my blue all together. Even though I picked them up and I were I was quite excited to have them. Even having this combo, the Hermetic Starly Horseshoe Trap, I'm not going to be completely uh, sold on it unless I have to. So. Goblin Garden, Gardeners, um, we'll do the pick here. Another Hulking Ogre, fine by me. If we hide blue, then we have 22 cards. Yeah, this might be the deck as it is. Rescue. I'm not going to play the match front league and I'm not worried if somebody plays it against me. Most likely not worried. Because I have arches and whatnot. Um another mountain walker, but it does have pump, so I'm going to go with that. Um uh, not worried, not worried. I'm just going to pick up on more blue cards. Mark of Hero, this is it. Okay, so it has the ability to give all my creatures haste. One, uh, well, one creature, that's all in haste. So yeah, 23 cards. 22 of them are red. One is an artifact. And I've got Cinder Seer, together with two Scent of Cinders. I like my chances, I must say that I like my chances. 
There's also these fucking ogres which are more than decent. There's really nothing in this. I've actually the the, the only subpar creature in this deck would be like the goblin medics and uh, goblin gardeners. Maybe goblins flunkers, but they do have their uses as do the gob uh, cola's yearling. But playing monopar is if you if you manage to play monopar, then you I think that you should you should um, I'm playing small main deck. I think when I grip main deck and lay waste. I might be more inclined to play lay waste rather than one of these the Colos Yearling and the Goblin Spelunkers. Um but let's see here. Uh I'm actually going to cut the Spelunkers and play the Lay Waste instead. I have 12 creatures right now. Um, yeah, I think this should be good enough. I could play 16 lands. I mean, I have. I stop at 3. Uh, my Then I have a, a few more expensive cards and I can cycle this. So. I could. Go 16 land. And if I do go 16 land, do I play a Spelunkers? That's the question. And I think that I'd rather just have the land. To be a bit more. To, to, to be a bit more uh, reliant on my mana. So yeah, let's see if a mono red deck uh, 